Welcome to this video. My name is Rajvay. Finally, I'm here to tell you about structure text programming. This is the programming language which I didn't touch in the last lesson. We were working on letter logic and FPD, and I know this language, most of people does not like it because it's a bit complex. But I have to tell you something. There are many advantages of structure text over letter logic and FPD. So you can, as you can see in the structure, how this is being written. This is like C++ or Python. So if you are familiar with that, it's much more easy for you to learn this language. So this is considered as high level structured programming language for automation process. So many times you come across some situation you have to write a mathematical equations. And it becomes very difficult to do that in FPD and data logic. And in that case, we use structure text. So trust me, this is going to be fun. You should really learn structure text programming because if you do that, you are opening a doorway to IIoT programming as well because if you are only familiar with letter logic and FPD, it's not going to help you a lot to learn other programming languages. So I would say really start with structure text and then you will see how easy it is to integrate many different technologies to your PLCs because it makes integration easy, it makes calculation easy as well. So let's see what are the main features and advantage of structured text. One is you can write complex algorithms, which I said you can't write in letter logic or FPD, or it is difficult to do that and it's more complex. You can easily share your code by copy paste or just by sending an email, or you can also do that in your GitHub, also possible. You can write um, uh, mathematical equation flexibly, as I told you, and you can document the code as well very easy. So we're going to see step-by-step -step approach, how you can write your code in structured text and how you can have a benefit of using it. So prerequisite, what you need to know, you need to know basic PLC programming language for that. So if you have done letter logic or FPD, it will be easy for you to start with structured text and basic mathematical fundamentals. Nothing uh, special just about addition, subtraction, multiplication, you know, things like that. I think everybody knows this. And some basics of C++ or Python. If you know that, it will be much easier for you to implement structured text in your PLC. This is just a basic prerequisite. And how do you write the language. So you can see that here, this is an example how you write the comments. This is like the first syntax rule. You can start with writing a comment. So to write the comment, you have to put two slashes here, as you can see on my on my image, right? And, and each equation or each uh, statement ends with a semicolon. This is very important. This is very important rule when you're writing structured text. You have to put a semicolon. If you don't do that, you will get an error. Trust me sometime, it's just this tiny error and takes so many minutes and hours to find out. So <laughs> make sure you put semicolon. And some, there are some rules, like for example, you can't use the names which are used for variables, identifier, constant. We know we will study that in detail. So this is just about how you can visualize how this language looks like. So the, if you see this green color, this is like how the comments looks like. If it's like black, it's like the real statement for you. And you can also change the colors of your programming language, all right? And another example, if you use like this, this open bracket and a star on the top, it is like a group comment, like a multi-line comment. You can start with this one and end with this one and the whole statement is a comment. And why it's important? Because when you sometime want to debug your program and you want to see the effect of particular statement on your program and then you will see how does the program behave without these statements so instead of deleting that you can just put the comment and whatever you put in the comment will not be executed by the plc this is the plain rule and this we don't have in letter logic and FPD. you see how this is the simple advantage of that so either you can use like open bracket or you can use a slash as well with a star it will indicate as in comment all right, there are some statements which we're going to learn in these videos. For example, assignment statements, loops, we're going to use for loops, while loop, repeat loop, selection statement like if else, and control statement, return and exit. So there are several statements we're going to learn in structure text, which are very important for your basic PLC programming uh, uh, code. And you will see here how the code looks like. You have the basic code in black color keywords like these are the keywords so these keywords cannot be a variable name in your code so that's why i told you in the last slide so these are the keywords like if or then you can't use as a variable so these are highlighted by pink and numbers and strings are gray and comments are green as i said you can also change the color it's a possibility to do that now how to make this programming language fun how are we going to learn that so in this case i have developed a trainer a full-fledged PLC trainer. You can see that it's connected to my Micro 850 PLC. And I'm going to use this trainer to explain 
the PLC fundamentals using search text. So let's see what the serenade is doing. So you can see that here we have inputs and then you have outputs. And these inputs and outputs are connected to your PLC. And very important, important part, I'm going to teach you analog IOS as well. This is the time I'm going to use analog IOS. But this I'm going to do in a different section. But here you can see I'm rotating a knob which is connected to analog input of PLC. I'm going to show you in a while. And if you see these digits, these are actually analog outputs. So these two digits on the bottom are analog output from the PLC. So my PLC has now analog inputs and outputs. You're going to learn that in detail. And here I'm just controlling the delay between these indicators. So you can see how it's getting faster because I'm reducing the delay. And then I can increase the delay. So you can see that how I'm changing the parameters of a timer using an analog input. And these are a couple of Shelly devices. We're going to do that later. And this is linked to my PLC. You can see that how PLC output is changing. And this code has been run, done in structured text. So this is just a demo example. I'm going to show you the trainer I'm going to use for uh, creating the lessons. And if you want to see the code behind it, this is how the code looks like. So if you see here, we have start, we have some expressions, some statements and timers and comments. This is just to give you an overview how you're going to be coding in the next lesson. So this is the logic behind what is happening on this trainer on this presentation, right? So this was it. This was the introduction to structure text, what we're going to learn and how it's going to be. And the software I'm going to use is CCW component workbench. And this is the software we are already using in the last lesson. So let's begin in our next video with the first lesson on structure text. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.